In this video, I'm going to show you how to add black bars in iMovie to achieve that cinematic look and feel for your next video. And we'll do that right now. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Brian White, and welcome back to Video Zeus. If you want to learn how to spend less time making more videos, start by clicking that subscribe button now. All right, so today I'm going to show you how to add black bars in iMovie. You may or may not be surprised you cannot actually create the black bars graphic in iMovie. But don't worry, I've included a link to our friends at nofilmschool.com where you can download a set of pre-made black bars to use for your cinematic masterpiece. So, navigate to that website in the description below and click on the images here of the black bars, which will download a zip file to your downloads folder. Navigate to your downloads folder and open up the zip file to reveal the selection of various black bar graphics to choose from. Each graphic has a different size bar, so choose the one you want and import that into your iMovie project. Once inside iMovie, simply click and drag the black bar graphic and place it on top of your footage like this. Then extend or trim the graphic to be on top of all your clips on your timeline. In here, you can see the black bars are now on top of our video. But you'll notice there is a slight movement that defaults when any image graphic is placed on a timeline in iMovie as it defaults to a slow zoom. Now we don't want these black bars to be moving during our shot, so let's make it so they are static throughout. To do this, make sure the graphic layer is selected, then move your mouse up here and click on the cropping tool. As I mentioned, it defaults to a slow zoom, which is also called the Ken Burns effect. So to keep this from moving, select over here to fit, and go back to your timeline. As you can see, the graphic is now static, which completes the addition of black bars to your footage. Now, depending on which black bar you choose, you may want to keep this in mind when shooting so you can frame your shots appropriately, especially if you're using one of these more extreme widescreen looks. Or you can utilize the cropping tool again by selecting the crop to fit option and position your frame to complement the heavy black bar selection. Boom. It definitely adds a more cinematic look to your footage versus the standard full screen look. And that is how you add black bars in iMovie. If you haven't already downloaded my Before You Shoot guide, please follow the link in the show notes below. The guide will prove as a useful resource for each and every one of your video creations. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a like. And if you want to watch more videos just like this one, then hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the release of our new videos. Once again, thanks for watching Video Zeus, where we help you spend less time making more videos.